Happy New Year. Welcome to 2022. And I'd like to kick off the year the right way by spreading the word about some incredible, fantastic new creators here on the platform, specifically for tennis videos. I love tennis. I, I love videos. So YouTubers that do tennis content are some of my favorite people in the world. So I want to share some of those new ones with you that you probably haven't heard of. First of all, let's go back in time a little bit. And I want to make sure that you know uh, channels that I featured in the past, because a lot of times in the comments below, I see, oh, you forgot about XYZ. In 2020, I featured the Tennis Brothers, 10 Fitmen, Operation Liftoff, Sissy Pass, Coffee Break Tennis, The Slice, Racket Flex, Player Courts. These are all channels that you should also be subscribed to already. They're doing an amazing job. My Tennis HQ, The Tennis Mentor, Intuitive Tennis, Dill Plays, Tennis Troll, Jeb's Tennis Journey, Saria Tennis, Acing Tennis, Tweenerhead, Mark Sanset, Call it Tennis, and Tennis Spin. So th those are all channels that I featured in these kind of kickoff to the new year kind of videos before. Now let's get to some new ones that you should be paying attention to in 2022. First up, somebody that you've almost certainly heard of if you're a fan of tennis, Patrick Moritoglu. He coaches Serena Williams. I think he's most, you know, kind of famous or well-known for, for coaching her. Uh, but he's started a, a YouTube channel. In my life, I've been playing since I was four years old. I didn't get the chance to become a professional player, so I started my tennis academy to give others that chance and help them reach their stars. So let's check out some of the, uh, it's, it's a lot of instructional stuff. I, I love that he's recording his coaching sessions and then making content out of it. You're opening your stance. What happens is this, your upper body goes back and then it's short here. This is what we have to solve. My question is how are we gonna manage to have you go from that position, which is very good, to this one instead of this one. Show me your forehand with open stance. With open stance, go, yeah, go. This is exactly what you're gonna do. Let's do one or two like that. So you can see the editors are doing a great job. I mean, it's fantastic video, fantastic audio, and it's a lot of just real, you know, real life coaching, which I love. Super. There's you kind of almost love no coach is doing this. I love that Patrick arm. is doing this. If you wanna hit the shot cross, this hand has to be able to do that. The idea is to do this, you see? Okay. Keep, keep the racket only with your left hand. Like it's, it's one thing to, to do a YouTube lesson where you like set it up ahead of time, you script it out, you're like, here's the drill, uh, yada, yada, yada. But to coach somebody in person and then share it, that takes, a, honestly, it, it takes a lot of courage uh, to be able to, uh, to, to put, just put it out there like that and be like, hey, here's me coaching somebody. And uh, it's, it's very, you know, raw and, and real life. <laughs> Look at this. When you walk, are you making an effort when you walk? No. When you hit the forehand? You're making an effort. Okay, so w what I want you is to not make an effort. Not make an effort? No. Look, do you think that I make an effort when I walk? No? When I hit my forehand? No. If I walk, it's the same. I don't make more effort. Federer is hitting his forehand like this. Completely relaxed. Show me a, a forehand with no effort. No effort? It's like walking? It's like walking, yeah. Let it go. Exactly. No effort. Let it go. Yes. Effort or no? Yeah. A little bit. Relax completely. Imagine you want to throw the racket. You want to throw it, but don't throw it, huh? Yeah, exactly. Do it again. Yes. So anyway, I, I think it's fantastic that Patrick's jumped on to YouTube. I know he's been on Instagram for a while, and he's got tons of followers and tons of views on, on Instagram. But to see him jump on YouTube is fantastic, and you should follow him. I mean, he's a world-class coach and a world-renowned coach, and it's great to see him jump onto the platform here and start uplo uploading videos. I'm super excited to see that. Next up, ten, I, don't, I don't know, it's Tennistic? 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 <laughs> Productions. Uh, this is a channel that, kind of like Cult Tennis I, I reviewed uh, last year, uh, is doing kind of uh, current events and um, popular you know, pro tennis kind of features and, and movies. Um, here, this one that I watched recently that I thought was really excellent was about uh, Curios. From future number one to barely top 100. So it's a lot of this kind of like, I don't want to say clickbait necessarily, but 
but they're working hard to draw people in based on current events, who's kind of hot and in the news, but the production quality is really excellent. The man that at only 19 years old defeated Nadal in Wimbledon, and that at age 21 had already defeated all the big three members, is now ranked world number 93 at age 26, an age where most players are in their complete prime. So what has happened with Nick Kyrgios not only this year, which will we obviously talk about, what has happened in his evolution as a player in the last couple of years? And is it possible that we've already seen the best version of him at such an early age? Or will he? So, so you get the idea, you know, kind of the, the setup there. Really smart. And I love, you know, all the awesome like B-roll and coming through and bringing out match play. Uh, this I watched this one too. This is why Ste Stefano Sissipas uh, will be, was it the most hated? Yeah, will be the most hated So I know how difficult it is to contain that anger. So it's like if you're not like if you're a big fan of tennis, like how do you not you know how do you not click on that? I, there's just a subtle you know art form to coming up with that the concept, the title, you know the the thumbnail. But from my point of view, Tsitsipas has crossed the line several times on things that shouldn't happen on a tennis court. As soon as it's something that could be considered cheating or disrespecting the opponent, the umpire, or even a ball kit, to me that's not a person who is struggling to control his emotions. That is a bad person, plain and simple. I mean. So and th like throwing in some opinion here too, I, I I respect that a lot. And and there's like a again an art form to kind of marrying together those things like opinion, pop culture, like current events, like whoever's in the news cycle, and then the B roll and the and the audio, you know, the the voiceover. Uh, it's it's fantastic, fantastic content. I love that there's more channels doing this type of content in tennis. Tennis, man, is just always in my opinion, it's kind of late to the game. I mean, people have been making this kind of content in other sports for years and years and years. And it's just recently that we're starting to see some content like this for, for tennis fans and uh, people who are, who are following tennis and love tennis. So you should definitely subscribe to this channel. Uh, it's excellent stuff. Speaking of current events and kind of the, the news cycle and, and you know, pop culture and tennis and stuff like that, uh, this person has been doing a fantastic job and just recently covering you know, the whole Djokovic uh, debacle. Uh, tennis talk with with Cam Williams, really excellent content. This is like this is like the marriage again, like tennis, just kind of being a little late to the party. This is like the marriage of like streamer culture with with tennis, and people have been okay, doing this so in other sports forever. This this type of like style of content. Match match. Starting with the players that are withdrawn because some big names are not playing. So we have Brooksby, he's pulled out. Federer obviously pulled out as well. Nishikori's pulled out. So we've got a draw, you know, like a draw show here, draw review. But a big part of what I love about what Cam's doing, let me see if I can find uh, an example here. Um, so like when the whole Djokovic thing was first really blowing up. Yeah, here, man, look at this, 238,000 views. Uh, live verdict. So again, kind of streamer like style. Here's Cam watching the the, the, the that, verdict you know, even though Djokovic and, and just talking about it, just like live reporting about it. Vaccinated. And I, I think he had several tens of thousands of people watching this uh, stream, which is amazing. Matters, I guess. So if this feels like claustrophobic to you, you know, with the uh, Mark Sanset, you know, does a bunch of this. Like he's very gamer, you know, savvy, streamer savvy. But you got the like count, you got the the stream, the chat stream, the, all the different social, you know, tags and headline and subscriber count and all that. But like this kind of like content, super popular and other uh, other types of topics. Thank you, everyone who's becoming a member as well. I, I love seeing it come to tennis. Hopefully, we can keep. Uh... Keep you updated all day. So Cam is in Australia, so so he was able to watch the the hearings and you know the verdict and all that and like report on it live while he was watching it locally. But th that's not all he does. He he does a lot of other uh, match reviews. He str live streams matches and watches matches, and he also does kind of match uh, summaries as well. Also out. So you see Cam here giving live updates on uh, draws for, for tournaments, giving some like giving some opinion and, and giving some commentary about what's going on with the players and whatever injuries and drama. So anyway, Cam's doing an amazing job. If you're a fan of, of professional tennis, you should subscribe. He is and he's really he's killing it. He's really blowing up uh, recently. I feel like he had half the, this number of subscribers 
uh, not too long ago. So he's, he's doing an incredible job. Next up, how about a female tennis YouTuber? It's like a, like a unicorn. It's not easy to find female tennis coaches. Of course, they're out there, but it's a, it's a field that's predominantly just dominated by, by males, uh, tennis coaching. Uh, meaning like if you go to your club, you ask for a lesson, it, it's not easy to find a female coach and, for whatever reason. And so here on YouTube, it's also predominantly dominated by males. And I was so happy to see Micah Babel uh, jump in, I think relatively recently, but she's been uploading a ton. Let's listen to her. Uh, if you're ready to get world-class instructions from a former top 30 WTA pro and a 19 Grand Slam participant, this is the channel for you. I'm going to share everything that I learned from my experience on tour. I worked with coaches who produced number ones in the world, Olympic gold medalists, and I'm still learning from them today. So you will get everything in terms of technical, tactical, mental, and athletic development. So you get the idea. Uh, Micah, super experienced, professional, you know, world-class player herself, now has been coaching for a long time, has tons of experience uh, coaching. So I'll show you a, a lot of instructional, obviously, uh, focus, and she's doing an amazing job. So we have some kind of chalk talk uh, here, a little bit if of a strategy to diagram. Matches, here are three simple strategies that you should start using. Go ahead and click the subscribe button, that little bell on the top, that to come back forward to the baseline. A little bit of Will Hamilton uh, throwback with the, uh, with the with the magnet board. Of your opponent and pin them back behind the baseline. All right, so we got we got strategy. Um, she does pro analysis, like technique analysis. Where's uh, where's one with uh, Red Wansku, I think. There we go. Here's an on court lesson. Uh, strategy again. This one focused on doubles. Time Devor comes over to the middle, and you'll notice Talking how about he's court coverage. Devor, how did you move up? So I'm sure the most important thing is that you cut the angle and you go diagonal forward. Too many times in doubles, the player. And she does technique analysis as well. I think this is a student really analysis. Really just stretching, right? And yeah. that's where it feels that the racket face has to open to get to the ball. So give it one or two more steps. I like how you're getting up to the ball here with that slight shuffle step, but it has to be further out so that you're catching the ball again between hip and shoulder. So you can see she's covering a wide range of topics. Obviously she's extremely experienced, super if knowledgeable. So if you're into improving, learning, you should 100% subscribe to this channel. Micah, you're doing an amazing job. Keep up the good work. All right, here's a small channel that it's, it hasn't really gotten out there a lot yet, I don't think. Maybe, maybe you've seen it, but, but probably not. With only 358 subscribers, hopefully we'll, we'll boost him up a bunch here. Av Tennis, which is short for Average Tennis, and his goal is to get an ATP point. And that probably sounds crazy at first. It's just a, you know, a normal, everyday guy whose goal is to get an ATP point. So he's been training, and he, I think all last year, let's see, how long has he been, been doing videos? Here we go, let's watch this hey little. Hey guys, my name's Alejandro, and I am an average tennis player. So I came up with a bit of a crazy goal for this upcoming year. With a timeline of one year and a budget of $1,000, I want to win one ATP point. That's awesome. So of course, like that, that sounds insane, but, but I love it. Like at the same time, like that is just made, you know, for the, for the internet and I, whether he succeeds or fails, like we, we want to kind of watch, right? It's just such a great idea. Average tennis player, $1,000 one year trying to get one ATP Very point. Quickly, for those of you unaware of what ATP points are, they're used to rank tennis age. Uh, yeah, so I'm 26 years old, height 178 centimeters or five foot 10, uh, weight. Uh, around 70-ish kilos <laughs> this, uh, wingspan. Awesome. I don't know what my wingspan is. Like the video game. Probably <laughs> average set up. Uh, I'm a lefty, which should help me a little. Uh, I have a one-handed backhand, not by choice, unfortunately. My two-handed backhand is embarrassing. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to be documenting my journey as I go, kind of like a journal for reference. I'm going to be uploading videos of my training. 
So I just, I love this concept. Uh, Alejandro, you're, you're doing an amazing job. He, up, he uploads uh, match play, he uploads uh, training sessions, he uploads like workout and conditioning sessions, and we get to watch his, so his progress. Was Pedro, he's a bit more of an all-court player. He plays very well at the net, but he can be aggressive on the baseline as well. He does a great job of varying his shot selections. His drop shots really hurt me at first. I was standing a bit too far back, and I wasn't doing a very good job of anticipating the drop shot. So you can say whatever you want about his goal and, you know, whether or not it's, it's realistic or, but, but you have to admit, like, it's a very intriguing, you know, idea and I'm, I'm going to be watching. And, and if that sounds interesting to you, then I, I highly recommend you subscribe to Av Tennis. Keep, keep up the good work, Alejandro. This channel has just been on my radar relatively recently and I'm, I'm just really kind of intrigued by it and kind of fascinated by it. It's called Star Tennis Academy uh, Pro Tennis Lessons. These are two, I believe, Japanese uh, coaches. Here, let's go to the About uh, page. Delivered with coaches of Japanese uh, tennis legends, Takao and, I shouldn't have done this, Mishi Hisa. Uh, and th these are two like pretty high level uh, ATP players. Former Japanese Davis Cup team, highest uh, Japanese rank uh, singles, uh, number one, ATP rank, 102 and doubles, 119. So th these are obviously like you know world class, world class players. Really fun to watch them play. And but they bring in these uh, guests as well, like current like WTA players, ATP players, and th they're getting tons of views. And it's just kind of a fast. Here, let me play a video. It's just kind of a fascinating uh, setup, I guess. So a lot of subtitles. If you're not in the subtitles, then you know you're probably not going to be into it. はい。あの、今までダンシプロが何人か来ていただいて、いろいろやったんで、<笑><笑> So it's, it's kind of fascinating, like the, the style makes it seem like, you know, it's kind of playful, kind of like an anime, you know, kind of, kind of feel or style to it. But then the, like the quality and the level of the, the players, and they've got all the cameras, you know, all around the court, and it's just kind of fascinating to watch, honestly. That's, that's an incredible swing. <laughs> it's just very different, you know, very different style. So it's like they'll, they'll have the guest, you know, player crush some, some shots and then one or both of the coaches will come in and kind of talk to them about it and ask questions. And it's very different from, I guess, the kind of American or like Western style, like YouTube, you know, video where it's like, it's very much the same, like, intro, here's what you're going to, you know, learn today, you know, jump right into it, make sure to click the subscribe button or whatever. Uh, this is just completely different, and I, I'm kind of fascinated by the, the different content style. But also the quality, the quality of the players and, like, uh, the, the quality of, like, the, um, the analysis, and there's some amazing, like, match play as well. Here at Currents, check this out. Japanese top player versus former number one uh, player.皆さんこんにちは。小野田道久です。え、今回もそえだ<笑> And they're like they're mic'd up. Again, great, you know, camera <coughs> placement, and you get to hear their thoughts and kind of their commentary. They're doing, you know, instant replay. They're, they're killing it. Like they're doing an amazing job. It's just really quality content.
Very, just very interesting, very engaging, and very, very high quality. Obviously, you know, some, some world-class, you know, tennis. All happening on YouTube, coming from Japan. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. I, I love, absolutely love watching this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, Star Tennis Academy, Pro Tennis Lessons, I, they've only got 18,000 18, subscribers right now, but they're going to get many, many, many more. There, a lot of these you know, recent videos have just been getting tons and tons of views. They're going to they're gonna keep growing really fast, and I, I've been really, really enjoying watching their stuff, so... If you guys happen to see this, you know, over at Star Tennis Academy, amazing job. Uh, keep up the good work. All right, back to the United States and Winston Du, a uh, point play YouTuber. He played Mark Sanset over the summer and actually had the opportunity to, uh, to have lunch uh, with Winston. Uh, Winston's point play videos have a little bit more, like, I guess, personality, like super like laid back and uh, relaxed. Like, Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm playing with Connor. So Connor and I have played doubles, a couple double sets together, but this is our first time playing singles today. I'm rated as a 4-5. Connor's also rated as a 4-5. So this might be a close set, or hopefully it'll be a close set and entertaining for you guys. Yeah, I played at UC Santa Cruz back in the day, uh, Banana Slugs. And uh, leave a comment below, who has a better slugs. forehand, me Excellent. or Ryan? Yes, Connor's forehand or Ryan Vanderwater's forehand? Leave a comment below. Also guys, I'm trying to reach 3K subscribers all right, let's check out some some point play here from uh, from Winston and uh, Connor. Winston's t he played Mark very very close, and I thought Winston was a 5-0. By the way, I didn't know he was a, a 4-5. For some reason, I was thinking he was 5-0. California, 4-5. But very strong player, brings a lot of personality into the videos. The, the videos are, are usually solid quality. That's the thing, a lot of people are, are uploading tennis uh, match play videos now, and you just see a w super wide range of uh, you know, just quality of the camera placement, the audio, the, the recording quality. Uh, Winston's doing a great job, and I enjoy watching his videos a lot. So, Winston, keep up the great work. Wow, good return. A lot of fun watching you play. Maybe someday we'll get to, to battle it out. Oof. Heavy ball. So yeah, Winston right now, 3,000 subscribers. Definitely go check him out. This is an interesting one. Uh, this is definitely off the, the beaten path. No pun intended. Foot Dr. Zach. Uh, this is a tennis player, tennis coach. He's also a foot doctor. And if you're into sneakers or, you know, tennis shoes in general, then you're going to love his content. He does a lot of shoe uh, is, reviews. Here, let's listen to his uh his Is Nike here. Zoom Air or Air Max better for athletes? This is actually a really interesting... Uh, it's just one of his recent videos, but this will give you a great idea. Uh, he, he tears down shoes, he like saws them in half, like tears them apart to see what the materials are like and who, what type of athletes they're best for, so on and so forth. Interesting question, because depending on what sport you play and what you need out of a midsole, the answer is going to vary wildly. So let's clear the air on Nike Air. Hey, what's up, Zach here. So recently he's been branching out into other sports more. Uh, I think initially he really more focused on tennis. Like, and a lot of this really uh, super interesting stuff, like uh, it, uh, explaining Federer's injury. Hey, what's like, up, injury. Zach here. And if you're a sports fan at all, chances are you're aware that Roger Federer has been off the pro tennis tour since Wimbledon with recurrent knee issues. And you may also know that he's had at least three knee surgeries on that same knee in the last 18 months. But what isn't known is exactly what his knee issues are. So this is what I love, just about the development of the space here uh, in, in YouTube and tennis. Like the quality of this video is fantastic. 
And this is somebody coming from a, a foot doctor, you know, perspective, talking about Roger Federer with this type of production quality, and I, I, I love it. I just love seeing the, the tennis space on YouTube develop like this. Exactly what surgeries he's had on this knee, and more importantly, what is the prognosis for him making a potential return to pro tennis? And so myself being a physician who deals with a lot so you see here uh, Zach breaking down uh, Nothing movements, else, uh, into a shoes, stepping and into a volley over and over and over. Not even bringing in lots of other side uh, side content and like B-roll, his own, you know, because his own point play. That is enough to make even a normal knee act up. And if you look at functioning at a high level, because cartilage can become so damaged that. So in addition to that, he does a lot of shoe uh, reviews, which I'm not super in it. Like I just want a shoe that just like feels. Good to me. I'm not super, you know, into researching uh, shoes and stuff. Uh, but he obviously, you know, is just, like big passion of his. So he does fantastic uh, reviews of shoes, <laughs> where he bre like breaks them down to see like the quality of the materials and how they're made and what type of foot they're hey, designed what is up? for. It's Zach, your YouTube foot doctor. One of the most common questions I get in the comment section down below, as well as just in my office, is can you use a tennis court shoe on the basketball court? And vice versa, can you use a hoop shoe on the tennis court? And I really think I found the two perfect shoes to explore that question with. Now, Kyrie Irving. Uh, super, super unique perspective and, and insight. So, uh, Zach, you're doing an amazing job. Uh, keep up the good work, and uh, I'll continue following you. Uh, everybody else, if you're in the shoes and you're a tennis player, you should, you should really be subscribing to Zach for sure. We're going to finish up this 2022 video with two honorable mentions. And they're, they're honorable mentions because they're not new and like upcoming channels. You've almost certainly heard of them, but I just I want to give them a shout out and, and some encouragement and just let them know like, I, I see you, I'm watching you, you're doing an amazing job. And the first one is Kevin Garlington. And Megan's in some of these videos too, uh, as well. Great to see Megan on the court in some of these videos. Uh, but Kevin Garlington, if you guys have been around the block in the YouTube game for a while with tennis, uh, he started Total Tennis Domination well before he joined Essential Tennis, which is why I, I reached out to him. And he's been uploading a lot, quite a bit uh, recently and doing an amazing job. I just want, want you guys to know that he's uploading back at Total Tennis Domination and he's doing some amazing stuff. Do you want to start generating more power on your ground stroke, especially your forehand? But this can really be used anywhere. This is what the pros are doing and this is what you should do. And it doesn't involve you actually swinging harder. Whoa, how am I going to do that? Keep watching this video because I'm going to show you the exact drills and footwork patterns that will add more power and how to do it. Kevin, now super knowledgeable about footwork, so and he has a big now emphasis on efficiency so and smoothness, which I what? love. Catches our eyes. Of course, what do we see? We see the racket moving so, so fast. So we think, I got to swing fast. But here's the thing. I challenge you. I challenge you to go out and start watching something else that will really help you probably a lot more to get more controlled power when you hit and that's their feet. So many times we're so caught up, we're not yeah. seeing- I love Kevin's emphasis on the feet and like smoothness. And, they'll just and he, he's been bringing in a lot of pro uh, footage. So the outside leg. Just to give, you know, real life examples leg, of whatever he's talking yeah. about. And his, his videos are always very practical and, you know, just stuff that you can easily do on your own. In this position and they'll hit and you'll see how they're constantly switching their body forward. Mainly this leg that's loaded is being all right, let's just look at one or two more uh, really quick that have done well. His videos have been doing really well. It, it totally, totally deserves it. Kind of serve technique for dropping bombs. Kevin, you dropping the knowledge bombs. Out to the court. And you have a secret weapon. You step up to the baseline, and what do you do? You absolutely drop a bomb on your opponent. <laughs> well, this is the hopes of uh, most players, but it's not the reality. And so in this video, I'm going to show you one of the big key components to making sure that you can start dropping more bombs on your opponent. So let's get started. So why is the serve so difficult to absolutely drop bombs? Well, there's a lot of key components to making sure it works. And there's not just one component. Doing this action right here. So I'm really focused on the pronation and the internal rotation. Pronation and internal rotation. Edge leads. And I want you to make sure when you do this, even though we're segmenting it, relax, okay? I don't want you to put a lot of shoulder, okay? Or a lot of stress on your shoulder. I love it, Kevin. So I, I'm just so happy. Even uh, Kevin and Megan moved back to Tulsa, Oklahoma. They took over a, a program uh, at a, a club, a private club down in Tulsa. So they've got their plates full, trying to grow. They've hugely grown the program. They're super busy with that. But the fact that Kevin and Megan have found time 
to still continue posting on the channel is amazing. And so I just, you know, I, I, re I respect that a lot. It's so hard to be full time, especially in charge of a club or a program and do the, the whole video game, you know, keep up with, uh, with the whole YouTube kind of hamster wheel. So amazing job, guys. Here's another channel that you're almost certainly familiar with, but they've just been upping their game and, and I, I haven't featured them before. And I, I just, again, kind of want to say, Tennis Warehouse, you're doing an amazing job in terms of like the, the tennis space here on YouTube. Their production quality has really taken a step up the last, uh, over the last year. In particular, they, they did this uh, series. Uh, they've been working with Bethany Maddox Sands. Uh, their production quality has really gotten excellent over the last year Hi, in particular. I'm Bethany Maddox Sands, and I'm out here in California with my friends from Tennis Warehouse doing a little racket testing. Now, this is a really big deal for professional players. We are so picky with the sticks that we use out on the court. Now, I've been with Babolat for a few years now. So I love the, the B-roll, the pr production the strike, you know, the qualities is now just excellent. Aerial. So I'm looking for combining a that with the you know the gear rackets, and the equipment kind of uh, focus and specialty. You know what I think about them. This makes it really enjoyable to watch. You got now, the drone all my footage. Have me well over the years. I've held a lot of trophies because of them. So here's this is Bethany Maddox Sands uh, doing uh, kind of little demo the session. Net, I thought this one was more maneuverable than past Yonex rackets so that I've tried Amazing they're they're working with top really uh, players. One of my no, I'm not really unique insight if I don't feel good in terms net, of, you know, gear review and already. So this one passed that test felt good at the net commentary about rackets. Um, and they're, they're continuing to do kind of the stuff that you've, you know, come to expect from them in terms of uh, training session, training sessions on their, their indoor uh, space. Um, they've continued to get more, you know, dynamic, but also studio, you know, racket reviews. Again, obviously, kind of what they're known for, but they keep upping, they keep upping their game in terms of the production quality and how dynamic and engaging it is. And I just, I love, love, love seeing that in the in the tennis space. This is average weight. We've measured over a couple of samples. Uh, it's one point headlights. So it's very close to an even balance on this one. Three oh nine swing rates are very quick and easy to maneuver. If you're a slice. So I can't imagine you, you're not familiar, you know, with Tennis Warehouse or the fact that they had a YouTube channel. Oh, they're, they're featuring their, uh, their podcast. They're posting Today's video of their podcast as well. A word inspirational. In 2010, he was inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame. He's a three-time major champion, a former world number one, and a gold. So just wide range of different styles of content, different types of voices different settings, you've got studio, you've got indoor court, you've got traveling, you know, California, you've got professional uh, voices, you know, giving their input and opinions, uh, just amazing stuff. So uh, this is my list for, for 2022. Let me know, uh, who did I not talk about that's kind of newer, upcoming, or a, an older channel that has been really upping their game that really kind of des deserves a shout out? Use the comments down below. Uh, to give them some love and I'll be sure to check them out if, uh, if I'm not familiar with them. But overall, I'm th so thrilled you know, to, to watch the evolution of the tennis space on YouTube and on the internet in general. Uh, these channels I've been personally following and really inspired by, uh, of course, there's so many more out there that I, I, I can't talk about every you know, channel in, in one video but these I've really had my eye on. And so I hope you got to know a few new channels and you have some new uh, videos to watch. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and click the like button and let me know down below what channels are you watching that are most entertaining and, and most inspiring for you. Happy New Year. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.